Yep, so we've got uh, Zach Volker here and Dave Rowe uh, from Infinity War to talk about Predator. Hey guys, uh, what's you know, up? To, hey. to kind of go, you guys brought this character to life uh, and, and really um, you know, made it an interesting element uh, here with uh, Call of Duty Ghost Devastation. So uh, you know, take us through that process a little bit. Like, you know, what uh, kind of, why Predator? Like, you know, like how did you kind of really make it happen, I guess, is the big question. You know, uh, we, uh, there's a lot of talk uh, behind the scenes on what are we gonna do next, uh, what would be new and exciting, and you know, after Michael Myers, uh, there were already people talking about the Predator and that would being a possibility. And it's funny because I, I remember there was an IGN article that said, oh, Michael Myers is cool, what if we did these? And we saw a Predator on there, we thought, ah, oh, they don't even know, we're already on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we thought, that was cool, they'll be excited. So um, yeah, it's just a lot of back and forth on what would be fun, what would be cool, what would be exciting. It's, it's, you know, it's our opportunity to be different and kind of go a little crazy with DLC and do some little something outside the box, so. Yeah, I mean, I, and I think I alluded to this earlier with Joe, I, I think it's just, Awesome to see you guys just having fun with it, like just saying, like you know, let's go a little crazy. I mean, um, you know, Call of Duty as a franchise has gone long, been, you know, hard for so long as like a you know classic traditional military shooter to see, like just like wrench them in the system with a completely crazy character like Predator is a lot of fun. I think the beautiful thing is just you know I jumped in yesterday and I was like, wow, all this makes sense and it's so like authentic. Like I, I'm a huge fan of just the character in general. I'm like, they really just nailed it and brought it to life. You can tell that these guys really really or, you know, care about it. Yeah, you know, we worked closely with Fox uh, trying to make sure that we were uh, authentic in, uh, to how we get it across there to our fans, uh, making sure that every little thing was correct, and uh, yeah, it turned out good. Yeah, now, it, like I said uh, before, it's, it's a field order, so it's a little challenging to, to show on screen uh, with an absence of, you know, someone getting that very specific thing, but we'll have a little uh, B-roll footage coming forward. Um, as far as the kind of inspiration for the design of the character, um, you know, is, is there a particular version of Predator that you guys were looking at? I mean, I'm no Predator expert, I just know that it's awesome. Uh, <laughs> uh, we, we are shooting for the license for the, the Predator, the original Predator. Uh, that's exactly what we worked with Fox on, uh, you know, make sure that we hit that mark, you know, exactly. And uh, I think we did a great job. And then, um, you know, how did you kind of manage what powers to give them? Because I mean, it's a multi-faceted killing machine. I mean, obviously the big staples are there. You got cloak. You've got uh, the, the shoulder rocket, uh, and then of course the melee blades. But uh, you know, like, how, like, how did you kind of manage the balance there of not making it just too much of a killing machine? You know, a lot of play testing, a lot of back and forth. We try things, we pull them out, or we try something new. Um, that's one of the reasons why the, the Regent Health is out. You know, because then we made them feel a little OP. And uh, so it's just a lot of practice, you know, try new things. And, uh, you know, that's the fun thing about doing these things, these uh, one-off characters, is because it allows us to really uh, explore uh, new things that we haven't done. You know, we just finished a, uh, a you know, strong push to finish the project. It's a chance for the team to kind of blow off some steam and uh, kind of be thinking outside of the normal box, you know, in the, the military-type genre that we usually play in. So, um, yeah, just a lot of playing around, a lot of experimentation. And there's a lot of small details. Like you can hear that I mean, when he drops in, you can hear the noises and the clicking noises. Right. And then uh, when you go camo, I realized I was sneaking around, and then I saw the waterfall. I walked through it, and my camo turned off, and I was like, this is awesome. Yeah. Like, you guys really did a great job. Is there anything else like that that's kind of small and tiny or is like I haven't seen yet? But that pretty much sums it up. I mean, uh, there, there are other small indicators that you can get uh, if you're listening. You know, obviously you can hear him, you know, making his clicking sound. Uh, also, when he comes out, you hear that big whip transition sound. So everybody knows he's out and the music changes, you know. So everybody knows he's out and everybody's like, oh, you yeah. know. So, uh, and then when he dies, uh, you know. But does Arnold just yell? You know, no, no, back, it, that, that's another distance. great sequence that you'll have to experience. Uh, <laughs> oh, but it, it, it's, uh, oh, yeah. it's dead on with the original Predator. So. And then the green blood, of course. Yes, oh, yeah, you yeah, see yeah. that yeah. everywhere. Oh, wow. Oh, that's awesome. Nice. Yeah. So yeah, I guess uh, TP is done with this match, so uh, hopefully we can kick over to some of that B-roll. Um, you know, so bef before people get the chance to see it, uh, or Ariz Gaming asks uh, over Twitter, and again, please tweet at IGN or at Call of Duty with the hashtag Devastation Day. Uh, with questions, uh, he asked, how long will you be able to be invisible as the Predator? Well, actually it works um, based on how you move. Mm. So if you stand still for a little bit, then you go, you, you become cloaked. 
and then as soon as you start sprinting, then you become un uncloaked. Cool. Well, let's actually take a look at the Predator. Uh, you know, again, we got some uh, B-roll of you know what it looks like to be, uh, you know be the Predator and be in the presence uh, presence of the the Predator. Um, you know, again, this is something you have to earn, and and it's a little hard to orchestrate for a stream. But uh, we've got some footage here. Yeah, look at that. That's vicious. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to be on a map with that thing chasing after me. Yeah. yeah. So, so how does the the shoulder mounted like plasma uh, shooter work? So it's a it's an auto targeting. Uh, so as so you get to lock on like that, and then uh, you can fire it uh, after it's locked on. Yeah, and, and you can see here you've got a, a combination of like kind of the traditional view, and then you have uh, your uh, like kind of heat vision to kind of be able to detect enemies. Yeah, when the designers are working on the, the different um, attack modes, you know, like the, the rocket, the shoulder-mounted rocket system, the idea really is how can we just make the player feel um, just like they're having a blast, yeah. right? It's not something that is going to require a lot of thought. It's just something they can just go to town with and have fun. Similar, you know, AC-130 type of stuff. So, uh, you know, the shoulder-mounted rocket is auto-lock-on, but you just get to fire away and just, you know, decide, am I going to go in sneaky and take him out melee, or am I going to stay back? Yeah. And well, and speaking of blasts, uh, if you caught the stream just a bit ago, it explodes <laughs> you know, yeah. in, in your last stand, and uh, you can trigger an explosion, which has a pretty wide blast radius. Uh, does, it, like. does it kill everyone on the map? Yeah, it's a chem strike, basically. Oh, Sweet. Ooh, pretty wide. Yeah. That's yeah. awesome. <laughs> I know, I noticed that, because I was using it, and then I got killed, and I got, I got taken down. I was like, oh, well, that, there's the end of that. And I was like, oh, wait, no, did, are they really? Yup, it's yeah. the sequence from the end of the first So, time, yeah, right? the original ending of the Predator, yeah. you see this giant, you know, nuclear mushroom cloud, you know, from the helicopter, you know, and, and <laughs> I know, it's, really it was so great, it's spot on. Yeah, yeah. that was, yeah. was amazing. Yeah, and uh, from, a person from Twitter asks, uh, could we see any other characters in the Call of, in Call of Duty like Predator, as far as like film characters? I mean, we already saw Mike Myers. I mean, uh, it's a bit of a... I think that's where we just go like this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, too deep into that. Yeah, no, okay, there, there you go. You see the, the kind of the last stand explosion there a little bit. Now, when you're in that position, can you still melee people, or are you kind of just waiting for the bomb to go? No, it, you know, that's it. So uh, you just get the choice of when to pull that trigger and let it go off. And, and in terms of like the kind of coordinated effort it takes to take it, uh, you know, the Predator down, obviously, um, you know, the Predator is scaled back a little bit as compared to someone like Mike Myers in uh, you know, the last DLC. Um, is it something like teams, can one person take it down? Uh, yeah, I think so, because, you know, it takes a while. If the Predator is in uh, his his shoulder-mounted uh, cannon uh, regen, or, you know, uh, recharge, then he can't fire at you, so he's far away, you know, and he has to come up and melee you, so if you get a clip or two into him, you know, a clip in the half or so, you can So the can shoulder cannon out. recharges, but yeah. do you have unlimited ammo? Or no, no, it's just, uh, it takes a while. It takes a good long while to recharge. So. Yeah, unlimited ammo. Yeah, oh, yeah, unlimited, yeah, unlimited ammo, but it okay. takes a while to recharge. Yeah, so we're back with TP. He's uh, you know, driving live gameplay. Let's see if someone can grab the Predator uh, and, and see if... Uh, I'm curious to see how the Predator fares against the, the greatest Call of Duty players oh, yeah. in the world. <laughs> Challenge of a lifetime. <laughs> can, you lock on, can you lock on with the shoulder mounted cannon on, in both modes? Both visions? Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, so we've got another question from Twitter. This one comes from Zachary. Uh, he asks, uh, could teammates see the Predator when he is cloaked? You want to talk about the visual? That's a good question. <laughs> you can see... The, like the outline. The outline. Yeah, you yeah. see the, the effect of the, haze. the cloak. And I'm assuming it's just on the map like anything else. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, like, yeah. Friendly player. So you, you can see him. Yeah. Somebody's running around with a knife there. That's Again, that's like the balancing issue. Yeah. You know? Yeah, you just can. like in the original Predator film, you can kind of see him you know, moving when he's moving. Yeah, a, a quick glance though, that must be tough to make sure you like, yeah. like to notice the displacement of the, the textures and stuff. Uh, again, to have your questions read aloud on the stream and a chance to win free DLC, please tweet at Call of Duty and at IGN with the hashtag Devastation Day and we will read your question aloud. We've got TP here, what is he running the MTAR? Yeah, yeah. classic uh, pro used MTAR. Uh, another question from Twitter. This one comes oh, here oh, there it is. There it is. Oh, I <laughs> see the green. There's the green. He's blood. reloading. He's oh. like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he got oh, taken out by the shoulder cannon. Right, let's see if we can. If it bleeds, you can kill it. So, yeah. We'll see here. Losing seat. Yeah. All right. 
Predator capping C. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> the thing about it too is the sounds are so spot oh. on. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's just, it's everything. yeah, it it definitely sounds just like the real thing here in the movie. Oh, he is capping C yeah. now. Um, is the time to kill him is the time to cap. Oh, oh, there we go, there we go. Oh, oh we got him. Oh. <laughs> See this kill cam. Oh, that is sweet. Oh man, he's still standing too. Um, Almost down. So with, the, uh, the, with regards to the heat vision, Randall asks, is there a way to hide from the Predator using heat vision? Mud works in the movie. Is there mud? <laughs> <laughs> that is an awesome idea. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll take that into consideration. Uh, predator 2.0. Water bombs or something. Like yeah. Now, as a Predator, it's pretty much until you die, right? Like, there's no, like, time limit? Uh, yeah. Wow. So if, you, if you're, like, wrecking, you can... High quarters and go high. Yeah, I mean, yeah. you know, especially in ruins, there's a lot of high ground that you can take, and if you can stay up there and try to pick people off, you could, uh, you could wreck the match. So long as that uh, oh so ominous volcano doesn't blow off in the right. distance. What I like about it is that you can go the complete opposite and go stealthy and not move around as much and just cap people as they're walking by, you know, too. So you really have a lot of options with the Predator. You go stealth in, in, into stealth mode really quick. Like I've noticed like the minute I, the second I crouch, I just automatically went stealth. Yeah. And then, can you stand up and just kind of yeah. slow walking? Yep. Yeah. Stealth? Okay. Yeah. yeah, this was, you know, it's such a fast paced game that it's so easy to blow, even though you can see him in the, sh in the, the shimmer effect, right? When he's cloaked, uh, you really gotta be looking carefully. And so yeah, when everyone's never. just sprinting around, it's, it's easily to stay in, on, uh, in cover. Yeah, uh, so a little clarification, uh, Mr. Montage, for anyone who's unsure about this, you actually play as the Predator. Uh, he has to say, am I playing as the Predator or is it like a squad member? No, this is, you are the Predator for yeah. as long as you can live, like, and, uh, and take out as many uh, teammate or uh, rival team as, as you can before you, before you get shot. So, uh, is anyone the Predator now, though? Uh, I think they got rid of him. Yeah, I think they yeah. dispatched him, yeah. It wasn't going to last too long against yeah. a bunch of pros. Yeah, we got TP here, and uh, there's the rest of the, yeah, the rest of the team collectors over there playing as well. So yeah, the, I'm sure that Predator is uh, target number one. Again, uh, please tweet your questions at IGN and at Call of Duty for uh, you know, your chance to be read on the stream and free DLC for you. So uh, got here on Ruins, if you haven't, this is one of the four new maps for Devastation. Um, up oh, and around. Ghost took it with TP. Top in them 24 and 15. It's not bad. Um, so yeah, I mean, Predators is, is a really exciting thing. I mean, and, and you know, looking at Michael Myers and how you kind of wanted to approach the characters, how did you kind of differ in terms of like the stuff you wanted to accomplish with the next kind of like Hollywood movie tie-in? Like, uh, you know, because Michael Myers was very simple, like kind of melee character kind of uh, more akin to uh, the maniac like you know how did you kind of make that leap uh, between you know kind of more traditional and just going totally off the wall with Predator? Well you know uh, we wanted to come up with a play style that was a little bit different than Michael Myers so Michael Myers is just uh, you know make a beeline for your enemy and take him out and we want to give the player a little bit more option uh, there's a little bit different from that they can still go after him if they want to like that but they can take you know a ranged approach and stay out of fire and then they can cloak. So really the, the high level goal is how can we give the player um, just a little bit more variation in how they want to play in their play style? Cool, cool. Yeah, and I mean, so we've got uh, another round, I think, firing up uh, with the complexity guys. Uh, again, tweet your questions uh, at IGN or at Call of Duty. Let's see what we got, see if anybody's uh, chiming in. Uh, okay, so this, this is actually a really good one. Now this one comes from, uh, owned by Leo. He asks, does the Oracle spot the Predator? Uh, and he also adds anecdotally, can't wait for Devastation, looks amazing. So, uh, yeah, can it be spotted by Oracle? I actually don't know that. <laughs> <laughs> Where's design support? <laughs> yeah, no, no, every designer is all uh, Tina, can Oracle spot the Predator? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Intriguing. Yeah, yeah. Interesting. Uh, we'll okay. find out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You want to find out, Tina? Well, again. The community has a chance to play as Predator on April 3rd when it launches on Xbox Live. That includes Xbox One and Xbox 360, uh, and uh, you know that's about season pass holders and uh, you know people who just want to buy all the card DLC. Uh, so Predators included. You got the Ripper. You got four new maps. You got Extinction, which we'll be talking about in a little bit. Uh, we've got uh, Extinction Episode Two Mayday to talk about. Yeah, looks intense. Um, we also have a new trailer that we're going to show you for uh, Extinction Mayday. Um, 
Wonderful. Thank you guys so much. Uh, we're going to kick right yeah. into the extinction and see how long we can survive. Uh, uh, thanks, thank guys. you so much. Uh, you know, uh, and the again, answer is no. The answer, oh, is no. the answer is no. You cannot Ooh. see the front of the question. Well, yeah. 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 That's a great question. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you guys again. Uh, we're well, actually. Great job. Yeah. It was, yeah. We, <laughs> it was so much fun. It was, <laughs> I mean, it was amazing. Awesome.